Hey everybody, how's, how's it going today? Yeah, I'm back over my regular spot, over in Big's parking lot, waiting for uh, Debbie to come home on the bus. 3.32 on a cloudy day here in Cincinnati. Not much going on, looks like rain. It's real nice, uh, it's only probably uh, in the mid 70s somewhere around there <laughs> hey you probably seen my uh, my blog about uh, my trip to Navajo Nation out in New Mexico I'm really looking forward to that that's uh, that's something I've always wanted to do I, I I have a I have an awful lot of respect for Indian uh, Indian people uh, I've always said they were the the first true Americans, and uh, and we came over here and stole their land from them. But anyway, that's another story, another another vlog. And uh, but I'm really looking forward to the trip out there. Uh, a group of men from my church, not my church, but the church that I go to. Uh, we're all going out in a in uh, trucks. Uh, living on the reservation, uh, eating uh, Indian food, uh, learning how to make fry bread, um, probably eat, and eat some mut mutton, and if you don't know what it is, look it up on the internet. Um, some in Indian tacos, I've heard they're delicious. Um, just living among the people, it's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I've got this colonoscopy thing coming up September the 3rd. I sure hope it doesn't interfere with it. I'm supposed to be leaving uh, September the 8th. We're gonna we're gonna meet and load the truck up. We got a semi truck that a guy's taken. We loaded up with plywood, uh, tools, hammers, saws, electric saws, uh, screw screwdrivers. Uh, you name it, it's going to be on that truck. Tons of clothes that have been donated. Tons of food that's been donated. Plus some money that's been donated. And, um, of course, the semi-truck will go out. And uh, hopefully, I, I'm going to see if I can ride with him. Uh, I've never ridden cross-country in a semi. I think that would be fun. But I'm going to see if I can uh, ride shotgun with him. If not, I'll be in... Uh, we take uh, the church van, and if need be, we take two church vans. And uh, I'd rather ride in the semi, probably be more comfortable than riding in a van with, uh, you know, six, seven, eight guys. But uh, I really haven't got the count on how many is going, but I understand there's quite a few going. And uh, we'll all be staying at the reservation. They have a. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a lodge or whatever it is, but anyway, they've got a, uh, a place with, I guess, bunk beds in it, like, probably, yeah, like, like the Old West. Uh, and we'll be getting up, uh, you know, during the day, we'll be working around the reservation, uh, going to different uh, uh, houses, I think they call them Hogan's out there. And uh, we'll be uh, working on their houses, and uh, of course we'll be sharing uh, sharing the Bible with them. I don't want to get into a discussion and have people um, go off on that, but uh, we'll be sharing some things with them and holding uh, holding Bible classes with the kids, and uh, and just. Uh, just having a great time and, and it's out in the middle of uh, um, it, it's out in the wide open spaces and, and I tell you one thing I'm really looking forward to I'm looking forward to the nights when uh, there's no cities around it, it's it's far from a city so the, the sky is absolutely will be breathtaking and I can't wait to see it and uh, the rock formations that are out there um, I've seen pictures of them and of course 
I posted that video in that blog that I uh, made and uh, you give you some idea of, uh, of the beauty that's out there but the most important thing is the beauty of the people I mean they're they're uh, they're wonderful people and they've been to me they've been deprived in uh, you know ever since the white man came to America so to speak and uh, I know you see the old cowboy and Indian movies the cowboy movies where you know the Indians attack and all that stuff we you know, stop and think about it you can't blame them what if somebody came to your place and tried to steal your land you know and I have no uh, as far as I know I have no Indian in me I, I have no connection to it uh, any Indian tribe I just always had a, a love for the and respect for the Indian uh, I love their music I love their prayers I love their chants I love their flute music uh, I've got a ton of them uh, videos saved that I found on YouTube and uh, I'm just really looking forward to it and I, and I hope and pray that uh, this colonoscopy thing goes all right and uh, I'm able to make it and, and to be honest with you I think if uh, if the colonoscopy uh, September 3rd if they told me uh, told me some bad news or something I, I think I would go anyway because it's uh, once in a lifetime opportunity for me it's something I always wanted to do and uh, some of you may understand what I'm about to say and some of you won't but I feel that I'm I'm called to do that and um, I, I feel it in my heart I just feel that this is what this is what I'm supposed to do and uh, like I say some of you will understand what I'm talking about and others will say well I don't know what the heck he's talking about but but anyway I'm really looking forward to it and I hope to have some fantastic pictures and videos I do understand that there's when you're on the reservations there are some policies regarding filming um, but now I think that only applies to commercial filming and I'm not going to do commercial filming because I'm not going to I'm not going to sell my you know videos and I'm not going to make money on it or, or anything like that so I think I'll be able to uh, use my cameras and uh, I have seen video on YouTube of uh, people that's visited there and they have made videos so I think as long as you don't make it for commercial use I'm sure I'll be alright so I, I'm taking uh, I'm taking all three of my cameras I've got two uh, uh, Canon digital cameras and uh, and then of course my um, my camera here and I, I might even try to ask the, one of the kids if I can borrow their uh, their laptop both of them have laptops and I think I'll uh, see if I can borrow one for uh, nine days they surely goodness they can do without it nine days they can use the other computer and I'll get me a wireless card from uh, Verizon and maybe I can uh, I can keep in touch while I'm out there. I don't know. I don't know anything about these wireless cards. I don't know if you're out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if they still connect or not. I have no idea. I don't know anything about them. But I'll check into it with Verizon and see if I can buy one of those wireless cards and you stick into the side of the laptop and supposedly you'll have reception anywhere you go. So now if I can pull all that off. I can uh, I can do like uh, Paul's brother-in-law did and I can document the trip just about live while I'm going out there uh, I can I can do video on I have to see about that I don't know if the kids will part with one of their computers yeah I'll try anyway so anyway thought I'd bring you up to date on that and if you get a chance uh, go over to my blog post and um, and check that video out and uh, just sit back and listen to the uh, beautiful music that's on there and, um, and, the, and the beautiful pictures the pictures are amazing so anyway um, talk to everybody later hope everybody has a great day